Malaysia said it would receive a U.S. $19.3 million package of American-made aerial drones through a Washington aid program to improve its security and maritime intelligence gathering capabilities. The statement from Malaysia Ministry of Defense also appeared to be carefully worded to not create a perception that Malaysia was siding with the U.S amid tensions between Beijing and Washington in the disputed maritime region. Kuala Lumpur is to acquire 12 Scan Eagle drones through the U.S. government's Maritime Security Initiative, the Malaysian Ministry of Defense said in a statement. This program is fully funded by the United States and did not incur any cost to Malaysia, it said, adding it expected to take delivery of the first six Scan Eagles by mid-November. The drones, to be built by NC2 a subsidiary of the Boeing company, are part of a package of 34 Scan Eagles that the U.S. is supplying to Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia and Vietnam, according to contract information released by the Pentagon. Production and delivery of all 34 drones is scheduled for completion by March 2022. The Scan Eagle drones will have a temporary role in helping to carry out surveillance of Malaysia's waterways until the government procures two patrol aircraft and three unmanned aircraft through its 12th Malaysian plan. The Trump administration is proposing to sell more than $2 billion worth of tanks and other military equipment to Taiwan. American officials said the sale would add to tensions between the United States and China, which are already clashing over trade, communications technology and military buildup in the Pacific region. The sale would be one of the largest to Taiwan in recent years by the United States. The single costliest part of the package is 108 M1A2 Abrams tanks, the officials said, and the deal would also resupply some weapons including portable anti-tank missile systems. The United States does not give national recognition to Taiwan, but the Taiwan Relations Act obligates the United States government to help Taiwan maintain self-defense capabilities, and each administration has sold it arms packages. The United States is Taiwan's main arms supplier. Trump administration officials have become increasingly worried about the intentions of Chinese leaders toward Taiwan and they also regard Taiwan as an important counterweight to China in the region. Though China's military capabilities still lag far behind those of the United States, the People's Liberation Army has worked on weapon systems, including anti-ship ballistic missiles, which might prove effective against the United States Navy in the event of conflict in the Taiwan Strait. In recent months, the Pentagon has ordered naval ships to sail through the Taiwan Strait with increasing frequency in shows of strength that officials call freedom of navigation exercises. Trilateral military drill. Exercise Southern Jackaroo completed. A two-week military field exercise has been completed, consisting of over 700 Australian Defence Force, United States Marine Rotational Force and Japan Self-Defence Force soldiers and Marines. Exercise Southern Jackaroo provided soldiers and Marines the opportunity to complete urban assault training, engineering clearances, artillery fire missions and live fire activities, whilst learning additional skills from their international partners. The exercise incorporated complex blank and live fire scenarios using military assets from all three nations. It included U.S. Marine Corps MV-22 Ospreys, Japanese FH-70 and Australian M777 howitzer artillery and Australian armoured personnel carriers supporting all personnel. An Australian Army personnel said the exercise tested the three nations' ability to coordinate and adapt their logistical, administrative and communication systems. Exercise Southern Jackaroo also proved a historic moment for the Japan Ground Self-Defence Force, who successfully fired two FH-70 howitzers out to 25 kilometres while in Australia. Australia. Japan and the United States maintain a shared interest in the peace, security and prosperity of the Indo-Pacific region. The exercise demonstrates the commitment to increasing interoperability and deepening the sophistication of trilateral exercises. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.